Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick tips and tricks video. Today we're going to take a look at the Windows Software Malicious Removal Tool. Now, when you update your PC with Windows XP, Windows Vista 7, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, every month there's an update to a tool that a lot of people don't really know that it exists. And it is the malicious software removal tool. So here we see it, Windows malicious software removal tool. This is the last update was October 2016. Now tomorrow is Patch Tuesday. Every Patch Tuesday we get an update to the Windows malicious software removal tool. So basically, what is it and can you use it to scan your PC? Yes, you can. So first of all, this is totally different because a lot of people mix it up with Windows Defender or security essentials that you might have as a basic protection on your PC. This is not the same thing. This is a tool that was created um, a few years ago by Microsoft and it's there to scan at boot up. In general, the Windows malicious software removal tool will scan at boot up for specific viruses or malware that it knows can be installed and checked at the boot up. So it has a form of protection for you. But you can actually scan with this tool. Now what is different from what it scans than it does with uh, the Windows Defender or uh, Security Essentials? Well, it's a more complete, very specific tool for specific malware. Uh, you know, the Windows Defender and um, the Security Essentials is more of an antivirus, anti-malware, very general antivirus, um, where the tool that you have in the uh, malicious software removal tool is very, very specific to a list of known malware and viruses that are uh, that can infect a machine and it's it's nice that it's there because it scans before Windows starts so it's able to detect stuff before your computer is actually fully in Windows and maybe you'll start having problems because of that. So how can you scan with the malicious Windows malicious uh, software removal tool? Very simple. In Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista you'll go to the run command from the start menu or the execute and you'll run a command. In Windows 8, Windows 10 you can just search for it and type MRT and here MRT for malicious removal tool. It's gonna ask you for permission you say yes and the malicious removal tool will show up and this is the tool as you see here for October 2016. Tomorrow's patch Tuesday for November so tomorrow I'll have the new version for November 2016. And you will see uh, this little window so I click next to scan for specific malicious software you have online doc documentation by the way for this tool also uh, you can view a list of malicious software that this tool detects and removes so if you want to see what it can detect this is the list of all the things that it will detect at startup uh, as you see here this is they do say it this is this tool is not a replacement for an antivirus product it helps you protect, but it's not a replacement. Uh, you just click the next button, then you choose a quick scan, a full scan, or a customized scan in which you will choose which folder to scan. For example, you can scan a USB thumb drive. And you leave it do its job. So like I said, this is a very specific scanner. It will check for very specific items, but you can use it if you want to scan your computer. Um, and it is in all versions of Windows basically since Windows XP and I believe it's still updated in Windows XP even if your Windows XP machine itself is not. So this is how it works. It's easy to use and uh, who knows maybe it will detect something that you might think is infecting your machine. So it's one of the tools you can use. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and uh, hopefully you enjoy our little tips and tricks videos.